Hello everyone, it's me, Captain Blue Rear Buckaroo, aka Lancer 737, and today I'm going to attempt to visit everyone's equestrian. Um, the friends list is malfunctioning, so I'm going to have to try to memorize every single place I've been by name. Um, you know, with as busy as my mind is, sometimes I forget, and that's, that's why I've been relying on, you know, gifting each one individually. It wasn't working today. I mean, it, it, you can see that it's blacked out. Like I, I did gift everyone, but that's only because I used the gift all button because it, it stopped working. The, the manual, you know, each individual button, it's stopped working. It's w either one thing or another that malfunctions on this. But anyway, we're going to attempt to visit Uncle Pie. Actually, I'm kind of wondering with the way it's messing up if it'll actually let me visit anyone. <laughs> Oh, well, we get to visit Main Days. Hello, Main Days. Hope you're having a lot of luck with the campaign that's going on right now. And their place looks very nice. It's designed a lot like uh, my Sweet Apple Acres, it looks like. Evil Rainbow Dash is running all over the place. <laughs> it almost looked like uh, she was zipping around uh, the Paris Sprites. So, if I were to pick a favorite spot here, it is going to have to be... Um... Believe it or not, it's not going to be the, the spot with the trees like it normally is. There's something kind of cool about this spot. I like the mix between um, the, the stores and the game place and the hotel right here. It looks pretty nice. I don't know. I, I think it's mostly just because of how the different colors and shapes of these specific buildings uh, complement each other. But anyway, main days, I wish you a lot of luck and have a good day. Oh, that's weird. They're... Their level here says 69, but on the profile it said 70. Looks I thought it did. And then watch the friends list completely kaputs. Well, okay, not yet. <laughs> it's on the verge of it, though. I have not seen any new MLP news, so there's nothing new to report with that. But, it looks like a lot of the stuff, I'm talking about in general, not just MLP, it looks like a lot of the stuff is going to be, that could have been released in theaters, it's just going to be released on streaming services. Although I'm not a, I would not recommend having Netflix. Reason being is, is I, I find it questionable their policies and what they allow to be on their service. And they have a lot of really dark stuff, that, dark themed stuff. And I don't mean like, you know, it's a horror movie or, you know, a thriller or a war movie. I mean, like they have some really bad stuff. I don't want to go into detail of it, but I just would not support Netflix because of specific kind of movies that they have on there. And I think, one or two of them might be documentaries too, which is even more messed up. Because I mean, because in the sense, like it's not like the documentaries are against what they're talking about, which is what makes it really bad. Um, I'm seeing people, or well, should, I, I've I've seen at least one person say this. I, I guess I shouldn't make it sound like a lot of people, but I I could see a lot of people doing this. I've noticed that uh. It might, there might be a, a recurring trend where people are going to also stop trying to get physical media for video games because of the, the virus that's going around and because China produces a lot of our, um, our, uh, 
property. Oh, uh, every uh, I'm jumbling it up. They make a lot of stuff. They make our medicines. They make our products that we buy, including most of the video games and discs for video games. And with the quarantines going on, it's going to be pretty hard to get, you know, discs for movies or video games. So it looks like a lot of people are just going to forego um, pre-ordering stuff, and the physical stuff, and they're just going to pre-order their digital stuff. I'm against... I. I lean, I shouldn't say I'm 100%, but I lean against having digital media. I love having a physical copy of the, the games I play and movies I watch, but I can see why they're doing what they're doing. It's unfortunate things have gone the way they have, to be honest with you. And I, I'm praying for everyone. I, I hope everyone is well that is watching this. And, I, and everyone that's not watching, I hope they're well also. Because this is really bad times. And guess what? Because of all the stuff I've, I'm talking about, I've already forgotten. Not to, to sound like I'm trying to... I'm not trying to diss anyone, but I've already... Unfortunately, I believe I've forgotten the name of the place I was just at. So I'm going to have to look at it and hope that I'm not going to the same place. Just have a lot of stuff on my mind and it's unfortunate that happened. Hopefully, maybe they actually are level 69. I just thought they're level 70. Okay. Actually, uh, yeah, it was main days, I think. And they were level 69. Okay, we're in the 60s now. Okay. Next, we got Sapphire Music. Hopefully, it didn't malfunction. Okay, here we go. Here we go, Sapphire Music. Their place looks extremely nice. They went for the elements, too. I, however, do not see a castle of the two sisters, so I'm assuming that uh, Sapphire Music hasn't completed the Nightmare, Nightmare Moon story arc. But I'm sure they will eventually. It's a pretty fun story arc. This looks kind of cool. Like all the trees surrounding the element of uh, generosity. Is it active? I think it is. I guess that's kind of the problem with purple in this. It almost looks like it's not, because I could have swore it, it glows a little bit brighter than that, but whatever. In fact, uh, it looks like almost all the elements have something around them one way or another. So, if I were to pick a favorite spot, it actually, this is, I, I don't know, this looks really cool. I like this. And then they have a picnic table back there, and they have a lot of open spaces to do stuff outside, and they have really nice groupings of trees and the clock towers. That looks really cool. That's my favorite spot. You did an excellent job, uh, Sapphire Music, and I wish you uh, good luck in the campaign. And again, I'm, I'm having trouble. They're making these miniature campaigns way too difficult now. And they're making the, the characters required to complete them too expensive. It's it's ridiculous. It shouldn't be this bad. <laughs> um, hope everyone's enjoying the Halo stuff I've been uploading. Um, I have a bunch of videos in queue for Final Fantasy, so don't, for, don't worry. I, I, I have stuff for that especially since they had a major event going on for that man i feel bad for all the things that i need to finish up um man this is taking a while to get this to move so it, what's everyone uh watching and we're doing nowadays besides playing this game or <laughs> watching this video 
I'm just curious if there's like any shows that you're binge watching now or something or movies like a movie series. I heard that uh, they they may have uh, put the Lord of the Rings TV show on hold, if not canceled. Could be mistaken though. Um, I was kind of looking forward to that one. It, it it's not specifically Lord of the Rings. It takes place in the same universe, but um, the TV show would have been about the events like around like a million years before the events of even the Hobbit. <clears throat> it's supposed to like take place like pretty close to the time when Middle Earth was created, and High Earth and Low Earth. And it, um, believe it or not, Sauron, he's the main villain. Technically, in The Hobbits, you don't see him very often, but he is the one that's behind everything that happened. And then, you know, in The Lord of the Rings, he was just a lieutenant for the most evil character to exist in The Lord of the Rings universe. And this TV show is going to have him as the main villain in it. If you remember the giant fiery wolf uh, ram that they had in Return of the King, they were trying to use to breach the walls of uh, Gondor. It's named after the mace that uh, the most evil character uses in Lord of the Rings. And some people think that it actually is his mace. Problem is, when you look at it, because of the way it's shaped, it, it doesn't look like it would make a good mace. <laughs> Maybe it has fragments of the mace in it, but it, I doubt it actually is his mace, as cool as that would have been. If they had made it more mace-shaped, I could see that. But this guy is gigantic. He's pretty close to the size of the Balrogs. Maybe not quite, but he, he's actually even, he's bigger than Sauron. so um yeah I'm trying to think of some other things that that i <laughs> think you guys would want to hear I'm not seeing anything for star wars i i constantly am seeing stuff for halo and so there's unfortunately because the virus we're losing hype for it but um the halo games deserve having a lot of hype because of how awesome those games are and the series is and so on and so forth. Um, I'm just trying to think. Um, I'm not, well, I guess I'm just not really seeing too much news for any video game or comic book or novel. Okay, fancy pants. Goldie. Oh, we go get to visit Goldie. Here we go, Goldie. Don't forget to add Goldie. Her, uh, their friend code is right next to their name. This place looks very decent. Well, that's kind of cool. It's almost like you have a friendship park right there. The grouping of houses right here looks pretty nice. Yeah, just like what I did. That's pretty cool. Rainbow Dash looks very nice here. There's a Spitfire. Almost forgot her name. So, if I were to pick a favorite spot here, have to be this spot. I don't know. It looks very nice. Imagine the fun they have in that park. I, I wish I was outside right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> Go on a walk through the woods. It would be really nice right now. Well, anyway, Goldie Pants, I wish you a lot of luck in the campaign. You did a nice job here. Um... I would love if they they were making a new MLP game right now. Not that I would stop playing this and Pocket Ponies, but 
to be honest with you, there should have been a lot more MLP games than what we got officially. <laughs> I, I just cannot think of any other news. Oh, well, if you like Takeda, no, sorry, Tanaka, if you like Tanaka from Halo 5, she's going to be in Halo 6, apparently, or Halo Infinity, as it's called. So that's something. Don't know many of the other characters just because they, they don't want to spoil the story, which, you know, that that's a good thing. I'm, I'm cool with that. I, I don't like it when my stories are spoiled. <clears throat> In fact, some, there's some people I know that don't even bother to watch the trailers for movies. And to be honest with you, that is a good thing because there is some trailers that I've seen that I think are too revealing. You can pretty much call out what's going to happen in... in in the movie because of the way that the trailer itself is structured, which is not good. You don't want to ruin the movie and have it spoiled before you even have to see it. Cause some people just won't bother to go see the movie. If they already are pretty sure they know what's going to happen in it. I am sorry it takes me so long to scroll through this. The scrolling part is the the big the big issue here. Um I think that the biggest movie I was looking forward to this this summer was Black Widow and it's regretful not to go to the theaters to see it. Hopefully it will be on the streaming service though. Okay, we're <clears throat> getting pretty close. Getting pretty close. Oh, it froze up. Okay. <laughs> That worried me for a second. It's like, no, don't freeze up now. Okay. Hello, little days. Here is a gift for me to you. This place looks even nicer. Um, This is probably definitely my favorite one for the day. And I do like that it looks like, yeah, all the elements that they have uncovered, they have them surrounded by uh, cool flags or just things to make it more extravagant. And this tree is surrounded by trees, which looks really nice. So if I were to pick a favorite spot here, it is going to be Rarity's area. This looks really nice. I, I love all the buildings around it and how it's structured. And all the rocks and the trees add a lot of character that I like. So yeah, Little Days, you did an excellent job. And I wish you a lot of luck in the campaign that we're playing. Oh, I, I did see that another uh, Pony Life video came out. Looked pretty interesting. Again, I, I like to think of the Pony Life videos as being like videos of when they're, it's still G4 and this is stuff they just, you know, did when it, 
things were not serious. It's just a normal part of their day. <laughs> we're a little bit more than just a normal part of their day, but nothing like, you know, having to deal with Stygian or Nightmare Moon or Daybreaker, nothing like that. Man, this thing, it's trying, it's like trying to move molasses, <laughs> which is a tri type of, uh, fluid material, if you want to call it fluid. The reason it's called molasses is because of how thick and, and sticky it is, like syrup. In fact, uh, there are people that use it like a, a pancake syrup. Man, actually, I wish I could have pancakes right now. <laughs> In fact, you know what? I think I might. I think might have some pancakes today. Might as well go all out. I want to know in chat, in the comments, actually, uh, what kind of person are you? Are you a a, a a pancake person or a waffle person? I miss having waffles, to be honest with you. I haven't had a waffle in um, a year or two. And the last time I had one was one from uh, the KFC with the... I had a special brand of maple syrup. I forget which one it was. But uh, it, it came with waffles, too. It wasn't bad. I mean, I, I wouldn't go out of my way to get it again. But, you know, I've seen a lot of people that like the combination of chicken and waffles. And maybe it's better at, you know, bigger, less fast foody restaurants. But, you know, having a little bit of it, I wasn't like, you know, my mind wasn't blown from it. So, yeah, it's talking about the pony life. This one looked like another Pinkie Pie one. Actually, it looks like most of them are focused on Pinkie Pie. And oddly enough, they're entertaining. Because I've said this like a hundred million times. I don't think I like Pinkie Pie's episodes for the most part. I like Pinkie Pie. I just, I feel like her, her type of episodes are not the ones that I normally like. And then, you know, they made her epic in, in the MLP manga. It seems interesting that she's pretty entertaining in these episodes now as well. Which is good. You don't want to, you know, make a bunch of things that people don't like. And we are almost where we left off at. I think this one will be the last one of the day. Hopefully, uh, the air that's going on will not be bothering my system tomorrow. I'll do a reading from the Black Book, and then we'll have a game of uh, Pocket Ponies. Maybe one or two. Okay. Okay, uh, that's another good one. Apple Days. Here we go. Wow, this looks pretty cool. I like all the, the rows of trees. <laughs> looks very nice. It's very condensed. Very busy. But I still pretty... I, I like it a lot. wonder what they're building right here. I just noticed the miniature candy cane right there. Grandma Dash looks happy today. <laughs> and then you have Evil Rarity. She's destroying everything. So, um, if I were to pick a favorite spot here... It's going to have to be what's on screen. 
I don't know, it just looks really cool being a, con a condensed little village with the sporadic uh, parts with trees and, it, and, you know, here and there. I like it. Apple Days, you did an excellent job on your Equestria, and I wish you good luck in the campaign. Okay, and now it's going to load 5 million years. 5 million years. Well, I mean, uh, your, your buildings would have generated a lot of rubies by then. <laughs> so uh, don't forget to add me. My friend code is at the top left-hand corner. And now for the reading of the day. Wait a minute. What's this? Okay, uh, that was weird. I tried clicking on that video icon that was uh, in my quest and it completely disappeared. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but let's do the reading for the day. Okay. March 29th, 2020. No question of race, nationality, religion, um, gender, or character hinders a single uh, applicant for response and healing. The best medical talent in the city is placed at the dis disposition of the poorest and meanest of its citizens. Newspaper Description of Charity Hospital, 1873. Charity Hospital. The first Catholic hospital in the United States was Charity Hospital in New Orleans, Louisiana. Charity was also the second public hospital in the United States, opening only months after Bellevue Hospital in New York opened in March 31st, 1736. Charity was founded when a French sailor and a shipbuilder died and left his estate to establish and maintain a hospital for the poor people of New Orleans. In, in, in the 1830s, the hospital came under the oppression, I mean, sorry, operation of the Daughters of Charity. During the Civil War, Charity was one of the world's largest hospitals, serving 1,000 patients at a time. Over the years, as it outgrew its buildings, Charity Hospital had six different locations. Its last location was completed in 1939 with a bed ca capacity of 1,800, which soon was uh, increased to 3,000. Charity was, by then, one of the largest hospitals in the United States. After Hurricane Katrina in 2005, the hospital was badly damaged and was closed. Despite civic efforts to reopen the hospital, the facility remains closed and is slated for redevelopment. I was ill and you cared for me. Lent should mean a great deal to people who are chronically sick. Lent leads to Easter and an Easter is a promise that no matter how damaged their body, no matter how fragile their health, they can still look forward to a day when they will have life and have it to the fullest. To those who are sick, that means a great deal. Try as they may, they're bound to feel like only separators to a lot of human activity. I mean, spectators to a lot of human activity. Commercially, about uh, frolicking on the beach, I mean, <laughs> frolicking on the beach, are not intended for them. Physically, things are not improving. In some cases, they're going downhill. There is damage that no rehabilitation can undo. Tissue or bone or organ that will never come back. It may be a heart condition, partial loss of hearing, arthritis, and it will be so until the day they die. It may be a wheelchair, a bed, a brace for life. Many of the sick cope and cope well. They're not gloom and doom. Their spirits are often better than those whose bodies are, are subtle and strong. But still, with all their good spirits, they must feel that they're in, they are missing a lot of life. Easter is the feast of human life 
to the full. For the sick, Easter is the promise that all our bodies have a future that is bright. For the sick, their hope is more than a wish. It is full-bodied, rich, and strong. Flesh and blood, life is no passing is not passing them by. Jesus was brought human life. I mean, sorry. Jesus has brought human life safely through death, and he transformed it. When they buried his body, it was wrecked. When he rose from the dead, it was wondrous. That's what awaits the sick. That's what awaits us all. We must show charity towards the sick who are in greater need of help. At least let us go and wait on them and comfort them. Saint Aphelius Liguri. I, I might be saying it wrong. It's not a name I'm familiar with, but it looks like it's either Greek or Italian. So, um, yeah, that is the reading from the Little Black Book today, and we're going to play one game of Pocket Ponies. <laughs> 